Pops and Vixens, there's a little Vixen here, and uh, welcome to the next episode of Pokemon Desolation. If you haven't gone and checked the last episode out, I highly suggest you do. We took on Amelia, we also met Lilith, who looked like she had a mega arm for In today's episode, we're going to be carrying on where we have to go and speak to Rosella, try and get into the archives. So if you're hyped for this episode, please give me a big thumbs up on that like button down below, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now let's go. Vixen, I didn't expect to see you. That business in the other sea. Messy, I know. I suppose I should be should explain myself. I don't want to lie to you, Vixen. I hate lying. I just don't want you to see that my silly is truly as bad as Blackview. Then until the impact it makes it look even worse. A silly dominated by criminals that even I have no control over? It's embarrassing. What's done is done, however. What about you? Did you find Aurora in that base? No. No? Hmm? Perhaps I've been looking at this the wrong way. Well, I'm sure you didn't come here for no reason, right? What brings you to me? Ask for the archives entry. The archives? You wish to enter the archives? Fixing as much as I trust you, the archives are meant to be ever used by civilians, not even you. There's too much sensitive information down there. Information that can't just be thrown around, even I haven't read most of the stuff down there. I can't give you special permission, Vixen. No one thinks are so tense. I just, I don't know what to do. But damn it, you've proven that you are at least deserve a shot. This is so annoying. I know I need to help you, but I can't abandon my role as a leader. Well, not officially anyway. I can help you in a small way, however. So you managed to get into the archives. There is one room that I kept locked. Only I have the key. Because I'm certain your reason for needing the archives is just. After all, we share the same goals. I'm certain you'll use it to help me, am I silly? So I'll let you use the key, just this once. This, of, of course, is unofficial business. I'm sure you mentioned method of getting into the archives will be equally unofficial. Just don't create too much ruckus. Okay. Now we need to go and find Garrett. Is he still up here somewhere? Oh, there he is. Welcome, Vixen, to the one scrap of territory I feel comfortable in here, in Central. People may not be the nicest of nice, but who gives a toss? At least I know they'll have my back. They're loyal, and that's what matters. That's why my show is always is all about having people I can count on. So what is it you're here for? The archives, huh? Well, well. Do you know you had it in you, mate? You realize what the security is like down there, right? And how difficult it would be to break in, especially under Rosada's nose. That's pretty intense of even for me. It'd be helpful if one of us actually got on with her, then she might actually be useful for once. Hmm. Alright, if I'm gonna help you down there, I gotta know what it is you're looking for. Stuff on a warring ship. Ugh. Mate, him and her are bad news, I'm telling you. I don't wanna mess with them one bit, but well, I know. Damn it. I can't pass up a good heist. The excitement, the thrill, damn it. Fine, I'll help you, on one condition. Let me explain. I decided following what you've done for me, as it is, that you could be pretty damn helpful to me. I'd like you to join my crew, and you know, join my cause. Yes, my men and I, we had some talks. We want to get the city back. We haven't really decided on the name yet, but we know our objective. To free Celia. That, that's a cause that everyone here should be fighting for. It's been I've been hiding from the war for a while, turning a blind eye. But I'm ready to get back on my feet. We could use the extra firepower from you, mate. We need it, in fact. I want to ask what your choice is, but I know that you don't really have one. You need me for the archives, and I need you for the cause, so then let's shake on it. Meet me inside the library when you're ready. Until then, feel free to help me with any operations I'm planning out. I saw Rosetta around the tournament building. You probably shouldn't talk to her until the social raid is over. Thanks for the heat, Vixen. Alright, so then we head to the library. Which is all the way down here. And find Garrett in here somewhere. There he is. Vixen, good to see you. It's about time you arrived too. People are starting to give me stares, mate. I'm not as like the library looking type as you can see. So down to business. We need to get into the archives, right? Well then, let's analyze the situation. So, the entrance is only guarded by one guy, probably your basic librarian too. 
It'll be simple stuff to get past him. We just need a distraction. But not just any distraction. One that will seem genuine. Because if one of my guys comes in making some noise, it'll only raise suspicion. That guy over there with the blue beard and hair. I've met him before, unfortunately. You may also have had the pleasure. He is an extremely strange and annoying bloke. In other words, the perfect distraction. Maybe he'll help us, huh? So the plan is pretty simple at the moment. You go and convince the blue dude to do something, well, distracting. I'll go pick up a book and try to be less suspicious. Once we get inside, we ought to be quick, alright? You can't seem to be messing with this stuff, period. Okie doke. Let's go and talk to Jared. Hmm, something you want? As you can see, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the presence of this table. You're an experience, me friend. And I don't appreciate that, not one bit. Hmm, you want me to distract the librarian dude? You know, much king asking favors for nothing. Hmm. But Jared would never turn down a chance to have some fun. Indeed, Jared thrives on it. Hmm. Jared will do as you say. Jared needs nothing in return. Jared will wait for your signal. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I love reading. You know, pages and shit. And, and ink, lots of ink. Did you hurry up, Vixen? Can't be this perfectly discussed forever. Are you ready? Yes. Jared will not disappoint. Hello, sir. Jared does not mean to bother you, but Jared has a problem. What? No, you don't, you idiot. What are you doing? Jared is dealing with a problem, fool. Jared needs a librarian to help me. Um, sir, are you feeling okay? Indeed, Jared does not know. Jared has a sore tummy. Uh, and a sore head. And sore toes. Sore toes? Jared gets sore toes from wearing no shoes. What the? What is going on here? Jared asked librarian man a favor. Will librarian so kind as to lend Jared shoes? I'm not one of the librarians. I'm a guard. I guard the archives, you fool. The archives are the most prestigious store of knowledge in all of the earth. Jared is the most prestigious owner of sore toes. Help Jared. Ugh, fine. It's not like someone will come anyway. God, we need better. Thank you, librarian man. My toes are so grateful. I'm not a librarian. I'm, ugh, I'm wasting my time. Let's get this over with. So now we should just be able to go in and get into the archives. Yeah, Garrett's already gone in there. So this is what's back here. Well, Vixen, it looks like we're in. I will say it. I can't believe that crap worked. Seriously, it was wrong with that guy. Anyway, never mind that. We can't waste time. We got a job to do, right? Let's get down to the archives. I don't know how much time we've got. Okay. Just want to make sure there's nothing in these books. Before we go down. Holy hell. Who knew this place was down here? Right beneath our noses. It's definitely not what I imagined. I thought it would be more, well, librarian Is that even a word? Ugh, who cares? We got a job to do. Information on Shiv and Aura, huh? Right. Let's split up and look around then. This looks like a big place. We got a lot of ground to cover. Find anything that looks suspicious. Good luck, mate. Oh. It's a strange book that animates a dark presence. You open the book and find an old rip out page stuff within it. The pages have diary of a monster entry from read the entry, yes. As you begin reading the words of the diary, a strange feeling overcomes you. I should probably start by introducing myself, if anyone else is to ever read this. It's kind of hard to tell you my name because I don't even know it. My parents were never around to tell me, so I started calling myself Aurora. I at least like that name. I wonder if my parents were around somewhere. Well, they would have named me. But what does it matter now? They ran off. They left my brothers and I in the middle of a frozen wasteland. They simply vanished. Left us, their old home, and a little more. We would have to look after ourselves. And so began the story of Shiv and I. The strange feelings were off. Okay. There's an info on everyone here, mate. Even me. The strange book that emanates a dark presence. You open the book. Diary of a monster entry. Shoot. Read the entry. Yes. We're not normal kids, Shiv and I. We've never been normal. 
We were born like this, born with these strange abilities. The time I met that girl, I thought we were completely normal. You know, we never asked for this. We never wanted it. Shiv has always loved battling, even before he knew he wasn't normal. He's so good at it, too. In fact, he always said he wanted to take on the League one day. I actually think he had to come to love his powers. He embraced them, used them to help himself out of every twist and turn. His powers became part of who he was, I guess. Me, I wasn't so lucky. As soon as I realized I was different, I just really wanted to be normal again. I couldn't understand that feeling I had. I didn't belong, you know? So yeah, I spent a long, long time researching. Well, us. And here I am now. And even after all this time, I still haven't even asked the most fundamental question. What the hell are we? This book is called Calling the Ultimate Gym Leader. Garrett's now the one from here, though. Okay, not that one. This one. I never stopped researching. I wanted to be normal, desperately so. I don't want to live like this, knowing I was well, you know. I wasn't about to give up so easily, right? So I spent my entire childhood on this damn research. I learned all that I could about myself and Chip. I thought I had all the answers. I approached a nearby science conference. I thought that maybe they might be able to help us out. I presented my findings to everyone. I explained our situation as best I could. I didn't think they'd all treat it as a joke. It's my own fault, really. To someone who had an experience what we've been through firsthand, because it seemed completely bizarre. But even so, all that work and all that time I spent neglecting Shiv, and for what? To be mocked, laughed at by these snobby losers? I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow them to con just condemn Shiv like that. I lost myself that day. I did what I swore I'd never do. I hurt someone with the same powers that I was desperately trying to get rid of. And how looking back on it now, I may have even enjoyed it. I guess that's what shaped me into who I am today. What Shiv and I both are. Complete absolute monsters. Um, yep. Heal. Save. I knew what I was. After they turned down all my work, I knew what had happened to me. What a shitty world we live in, huh? Yet I could continue my research. I wasn't going to stop just because someone, some snot-nosed nerds told me to. No, I could continue alone. That being said, my motivation for continuing has surely changed. I didn't want to be normal, not after that feeling I had well, when I, well, disposed of those people. That feeling of being powerful, being in control of the situation. I don't want anyone to take that away from me, not after experiencing it so vividly. It was at that moment that I realized my new cause. I couldn't continue this research to cure myself, no. I would continue my research to find out my weakness, to find out whatever hurts Shiv and I, and to eliminate it. Shiv and Forty had also changed. Well, I spent my time researching our abilities, he spent his time using them. Could you fit countless trainers the best of the best? Travelers, gym leaders, who are slowly becoming the best. But what are you meant to do once you've become the best? I should have kept a close eye on him. It was obvious how he felt, empty, bored, like everything was meaningless. He had never been offered a challenge, ever. He'd become too good for his own good. I did what any big sister would, try to help him. I started training Pokemon myself, training whatever I could find. I used my ability to accelerate the process. To become as strong as possible, as quickly as possible. I had to save him. I thought I could. I bowed him eventually. I won easily. I didn't expect that I would only add to his grief. I thought it would motivate him. Yet there I was, losing my brother before my eyes. That was until that strange girl arrived. Oh, strange girl. Nova? Look at this place. Seems like they have everything down here. Perhaps even on the love, the foxes. Oh mate, it's you. 
So when you look, I've had shit all, I'm afraid. I'm not exactly an avid reader. I was new or shit was strange, but these abilities. That's not even real. I'm used to dealing with thugs and snobs, but not this. Insane shit. I know it's real, mate. I've seen it with my own eyes, but... Damn it, we're wasting time here. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay. Oh, it doesn't... There's an item. Oh, silk scarf! Oh, I know where exactly who that's going on. Okay. Um, actually... I'll put that on you. There's another green book. Nova. I'm so absolutely foolish to trust her. She was a normal person, a complete human to every regard. And that's why she was so dangerous to us. So stupid. She and I are monsters, nothing more. And Nova, she knew it. She grasped that concert ex exceptionally well in her portrayal. Nova, of course, was visiting again. I suppose Shiv was happy enough with her around, so I let her stay the night. Uh, of no more than goodwill. It was a strange night for me. I felt like I was in a deeper and stranger sleep than usual. There was a shortage of nightmares that night, either. There was one particular nightmare that I very much wanted to get out of, so I pushed, shoved, and awoke with a start. I went to see Nova's cold, red eyes staring down at me. Her hand was on my shoulder and I felt so drained. Something felt wrong. Something was leaving me through that shoulder, straight into her hand. She saw that I had woken and ran off as quickly as she could. I tried to move as hard as I could, but I felt so empty. Despite that, I found my strength and got up. I chased her without holding back. I followed her down the stairs as quickly as I could. Then I heard a sound. There was no mistaking it. It was Shiv yelling. I knew I needed to hurry. What was Nova doing? Why was she doing this? My thoughts were buzzing all over the place as I ran down the stairs. I tried to use my powers to reach him. I swear I did everything. But nothing worked. Nothing. I knew I was too late. And that's when I saw it. I couldn't mistake it. The knife. The blood. And the brother. Shiv. Why? He cared so much about her, and that was how she repaid him? When I saw Shiv lying there, I didn't once think to check he was okay. I was so completely blinded by rage. I had that familiar feeling again. I wouldn't let her run away. I wouldn't let her run away, not after that, not after what she did. I would do to her what she did to Shiv, but a thousand times worse. But even then, by the time I got outside, she was gone. She just disappeared. Just like my parents. It's the same thing all over again. It was like she had just teleported away. And at that moment, it became obvious why I couldn't use my powers. It's the same reason Nova could teleport away. She had stolen them somehow. Stolen my powers. Stolen a part of me. A part of who I am. She used shift, hurt him, manipulated him. To steal my powers. The girl Nova stole a part of me. And at that point, I knew my research could wait. Nova, on the other hand, could not. Huh? What the hell? It's gonna be right no way. This is crazy, insane. I don't believe in this fairy tale bullshit. This is stupid. If that's true, fix and listen closer to this shit. This here talks. It talks about Aurora and Shiv. Shiv and Aurora, the famous children, are often discussed as cursed beings. However, they are not so different from you and I. In fact, they are completely and utterly normal. Yet, what of their so-called powers? Let me know reading anything is impossible when. What the hell was that? It's coming from the surface, Vixen. I'm not taking any risks down here, mate. Let's get the hell out of here, alright? Come on. What the hell is happening up there? Vixen, we gotta stick together, alright? We'll talk about what I saw when we're out of here. Come on, let's get moving. Uh, there's a strange feeling like... What's that? We don't need to leave, even you. Don't worry. I won't leave you behind, Garrett. Things are bad. It's far too much for me to handle. Rosella, how did you know we... Questions can wait. It's Aurora and Nova. They're filing. 
We can't stay here anywhere near them when this happens. We need to go, and now. We will get out and start our plan later. Go to war again. Rosetta, I just... You knew I wouldn't leave you behind. I thought, Rosetta, Vixen, they didn't... Go to the place at all. Something must be blocking Vixen from... The books and hold it up. Oh yeah, we're going out of the building as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Nova, Lo, Nova, how I missed you. Back together just like old times. This time things will be different. You think I'm scared of you, Aurora? I'm done running from you. Done being afraid of you. You're obsessive, nothing else. I'm not scared of you. Not scared of me? You immature child. I don't want you to be scared of me, Nova. I want you to think you can stand up and fight. I want you to try your luck again, just so I can see your face when I can get put you back down again. You're a psycho, Aurora. What the hell do you want from me? For some damn reason, you won't just stay out of my life. Stay out of your life? Why didn't you follow your own advice all those years ago? You used him, Nova. You hurt him, broke him. He's still a part of me. You think I just forget that? How else was I meant to survive out there, with what I had started to become? We all have to do some shitty things, Aurora. We all made mistakes. You, me, and Shiv. Please, just leave me alone. Leave you alone after all of that? Shut up, Nova. I'm done playing your manipulative little games. Give them back. Give me back the rest of my damn powers, now. I won't run away from you anymore, Aurora. You stole part of me, Nova. Give it back now. I'm warning you, damn it. Part of you, huh? No, it's not yours anymore. Damn. Fine then. If you want to play things that way, I'll finish what you started on that night. Remember the little stone, Nova? The onyx stone? You so desperately wanted to work? You're a fool to overstating its importance. The power that you're desperately searching for, it's not held in some pathetic rock. It's held in the hands of those that rightfully deserve it. Let me remind you of what you seem to have forgotten. Let me show you, Nova, just to let you know what you'll never be able to have in your useless life. Aurora, no. Please wait. I warned you, Nova. I warned you over and over. I want your... You want your new world so bad? Come and take it. You being gone, I'll be doing the world a favor. Enjoy the world that you wanted, all alone. No, I'm sorry. Please, Aurora. Please. Aurora, stop. That's enough. Shiv? Shiv, it's you. You came here? To the city? To me? Aurora, hmm. I never planned to come here. Not until I knew Nova was in the city. Not until all of this. Shiv, I've missed you so much. You have no idea. I want to be with you so much, but... But it's time to put an end to all this, Shiv. An end to all this. We can be normal again. Stop by getting rid of her. No, Aurora, you're not going to hurt her. What? What are you saying? You side with her over me? I don't agree with her ways, but you know that even then, I care about her. No, you don't. She manipulated you. You only... She only made you think that. It's not real, Shiv. You think I care? It's real to me, and when it comes down to it, that's what matters. I imagine... I, I hate her for what she's done. For what she plans to do. But on this godforsaken world, she's the only normal person I really give a crap about. After everything that the three of us have been through, as it... As it clouded as it is... I can say that with certainty. Please, Aurora, let it go. Just leave her alone. Please. I wish things were that easy. You know the world isn't that kind. Not to whatever the hell we are. Not to whoever, whatever we have become. What she's done, I won't let her do it to us again. I'm sorry, Shiv. In my eyes, family come first. I won't leave her. Leave you here, to her. Whether you like it or not. Aurora, no. Please, calm down. Don't do this. If I have to take you both at the same time, then so be it. This is for the good of the family. Damn it, Aurora, fine. Have it your way. Vixen, is that you? Damn it, Vixen, please. I can't find my own sister alone. She's far too strong, please. You won't hear me say this again, but I need your help. Before she hurts Nova. Vixen, hmm? So that's your name. So this is why you're sent with familiar. You knew my brother all along. You're quite the enigma, Vixen. I don't know you well, but I know that you just came out of the archives. I know you were there. You've seen my journal, haven't you? I mean, she, she means you know the truth. You know what Nova has done. She says what she's going to get from me. I don't know if I have an enemy to fight Shiv. Not again. Vixen, please. Avert his eyes. Vixen, no, please. Trust me. Please. 
Aurora can be stopped. This can end happily, I swear it. Please forgive Nova. I'm gonna help. Shit. Thank you, Vixen. I'm glad you can see reason. In times like these, reason often seems to go out the window. Right, sis? Hmm. I shouldn't have expected much better. Even after you've seen what use she's capable of, you side with her. You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? It doesn't really matter now, does it? I'll end you both the same. You and Nova. Both of you crutching my little brother. Turning him on me. Turning family on each other. I won't forgive you, Vixen. So I'll show you what real power in this family. Stand tall while you can, Vixen. I won't hold back. Right. Try this again, shall we? Without the Levani getting stuff up. That's fine. Then we can shut up. Oh, right, Haunch Crow is coming out next. So we go into uh, Minetric. And then we go to Discharge. Yeah, you can suck a punch, but my Discharge is taking you out. Rapidash is next. Gastrodon. Oh, that is Galarian freaking Rapidash. I'm still gonna. Yeah. Okay, that's Galarian Rapidash. That's fine. We can still go in here and gunk shot. <sighs> no. Wrong Pokemon. This Magius is Incineroar. Yep. Mimic here is coming up next, that's fine. Can I get the pale off, please? It's fine. Right, your disguise is now busted, so I'm going to use. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on Liam. Right. Come shot. Okay. And then my Anna, yeah. I've got the toxic off. That mighty my Anna looks freaking cool, though. Okay. Flame burst. Yeah, done it. I think it's over. You think one little bow is enough, Vixen? Oh, you're still a capable trainer. They won't be enough. Thanks, Vixen. That's all the time I needed. What? But I thought you. <sighs> damn it. Shiv, I'm sorry. No, no, damn it! Not this time, Nova, not again! Ugh, damn it. Ugh, no! Damn it, damn it! This isn't over, not yet. Not yet, a pearl. Of course, a portal. Fixin, grab my hand. Come on now. You gotta teleport, just like Aurora and I do. Follow them through, Fixin. Save Nova, please. And save my sister from herself. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Please, Fixin. Don't let me down. She grabs your hands. Feel the force take hold of you. Leave me the hell alone, Aurora. Leave you alone? That was the last draw. Damn straw. I'm ending you here, Nova. Okay, where the hell are we? I'm gonna save the game. Uh, 
Oh, we are not healed. Yeah, I'm hoping we're not battling anybody. You think you can run, sweetheart? A really good luck trying. Please, Aurora, please. I was always just scared, and please, please. Scared, little Nova? So you should be. There's no one left to run. This will be the last time you lose your way. It's over, Nova. It's finally over. This is my grid, not yours. You don't even know how to get out. Aurora, please. Please don't do this. Wait, Vixen, Vixen, please. You, you're here? You continue to surprise me, Vixen. You won't leave me alone, will you? You didn't even chase me here. But you're no different when it comes down to it. Because even you don't understand. And how could you? I'm not like sh you're not like Shiv and I. You're not a complete monster. You're just you, a normal person. Yet, yeah, you at least prepared to care a whole lot more than one. How very heroic of you. Tell me, Vixen. What is a hero, really? In a world such as this, heroes aren't all we envisioned. When you think of hero, who would you imagine, truly? Well, I kind of imagine somebody I look up to. Uh, not somebody noble, not somebody envied. I would say someone admired. Someone who is admired, you think? Listen, you don't need to be a hero to be admired. In this world, admiration comes in all shapes and forms. I admire you for your efforts, but you are no hero. Hmm. Do you think attempting to save Noah's life is admirable? Hmm. None of the matters. What do you intend to do here, Vixen? We're in my world, under my rules. Neither of you are go neither of you are going anywhere. Not without my say so. Still, you peep my interest. So interesting and for such a normal person. Or perhaps I've been wrong about you this entire time. In time we will see. As for you, time is up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Aurora, please. You just won't give up, will you? I'm so blind, Vixen. No, but she manipulated Shiv, stabbed him twice. She stole part of me, refused to give it back. She manipulated you, too, at some point, didn't she? People like this don't deserve a spot on this planet. And you, what do you think? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, what you meant to put here? Um, everybody deserves chances to become better, I suppose. She should be forgiven. Oh, Vixen, you're so utterly hopeless. For a moment, I thought you might be slightly special, yet you're simple, simply stubborn. You would forgive her for all she's done, for what she did to Shiv. Aren't you the cliche little hero? But let me tell you something, Vixen. This isn't a fairy tale. This is real life. In real life, I don't care in the slightest what you think. No, 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 no. Or oh, please, I... <clears throat> uh, no, I... No, I... Shiv! And you think this is just a game, Vixen? You still think you hold all the cards? You're so stubborn, so desperate to hold on to hope. It's ridiculous, really. But for now... I think our chat is over, Vixen. Hmm, sleep. Now you've returned. I was going to lose hope in you. And here you are, holding on. Perhaps at last you truly are the one. We're so close now, Vixen, I can feel it. I need you to hold on just a little longer. Hold on to your dream, Vixen, and see you through the cracks once and for all. I will guide you home for good. Vixen, please be. Vixen, Vixen. I hope you're okay after all this, please. Vixen? You're, you're awake. Hmm, well, um, I, uh, hey, Vixen. Long time we'll see. Yeah, this must be strange. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Let me contain myself. I hadn't thought of what to say. As soon as I heard things were getting heated, I came as soon as I could. Darker, the fox threat wasn't as significant as I thought. But the fact that they were creeping around Arcanius like that. It didn't bode well. Returning there after everything that's happened, it's hard enough as it is. I'm so sorry. This was my fault. I can't believe I left you in danger like that. That business with Shiv and his, well, family. 
Sorry to tone down for the moment. I'm one of the first. It's all thanks to you. Hmm. You made quite a name for yourself, haven't you? And now you've even got your very own house. I feel like you've grown so much in front of me. I didn't realize you'd become this strong, really. Oh, I will forget to mention something. There's well, uh, quite a few people downstairs. I was meant to get you to come down as soon as you woke up. Well, whoops. I can't take up any more of your time by myself, Vixen. Come on, meet me down there when you're ready. Alright guys, I'm going to end today's episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Pokemon Desolation. Bye!